Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to describe how you can start and run a faceless YouTube channel, whatever your interests. I'll explain how I make each of my videos in under an hour, what tools I use, and how you can quickly get started on your own channel. Whether you're camera shy or just value your anonymity, this guide will empower you to create, connect, and conquer the YouTube scene on your own terms. I started my channel in 2017 and I haven't appeared on the camera once. Perhaps I should. Perhaps I should make an appearance and speak directly to the camera. Maybe I'd be more successful, but that's for another day. For now, I will continue to run this as a faceless YouTube channel. The process itself is not complicated. All you need to do is decide on a niche subject and teach yourself how to use a few tools. Here are the tools you'll need. You'll find links to them in the description area below this video. TubeBuddy or vidIQ for keyword research, ChatGPT to write the script, Audacity to record the narration, Pictory to create the video, Canva to create the video thumbnail, and again TubeBuddy or vidIQ to optimize the video for searches. The finished video will also need some search engine optimization. I'll cover that at the end of this video. Now that we know what tools to use, let's go through the process of creating a video step by step. First, decide on a subject for the video. YouTube has over 2 billion monthly users, making it one of the most visited websites globally and every day millions of new videos are uploaded by content creators worldwide. So it's busy and it has a global reach, but it's also competitive. To stand out, you need to create good quality content. Ideally, you want to make videos about things that people search for on YouTube. So for you, that may mean a little bit of keyword research. There are two tools that a lot of people use and they are TubeBuddy and vidIQ. Try the free versions of both and choose the one that most appeals to you. You can also make a video about anything that comes to mind and leave the specific keyword targeting for another time. That's fine, as sometimes we just need to follow our instincts and express whatever is in our imagination. But most of your videos need to be keyword targeted so that they have the best chance of being found and viewed. After all, that's what we all want, isn't it? Now, writing the script for the video. To write the script, you could sit in front of a blank page and simply type it out in the conversational or professional tone you would use if you were talking to an audience. Or you could use ChatGPT to do it for you and save a lot of time. To get the best results from ChatGPT, you need to use well-crafted prompts. I've put a suggested prompt you could use in the description area below this video. Experiment with this and change it to get the results you want. ChatGPT is easy to use, but prompt engineering is a skill that develops with practice. Once you've got the script created in ChatGPT, copy and paste it into a Word document where you can read it clearly. Read it through, either out loud or in your mind, as if you're speaking to an audience. Make any adjustments you think are necessary, then move on to the next step. Record the video narration. Before I get into the process, I just want to mention microphones. We tend to think that videos are all about the visuals, but good sound quality is vitally important. Many people listen to videos while looking at something else. So you should put a lot of effort into recording narrations that sound as clear as possible. And that begins with the mic. There are many you can use, but one of the most popular on the market today, used by YouTubers and podcasters, is the Blue Yeti. Check it out using the link below this video. It's an entry-level mic that produces professional quality sound. Check out the reviews and you'll see what I mean. Now let's describe the recording process. For the narration, I use Audacity. 
it's free and it's easy to use. Download a copy using the link below. If you've got an alternative that you prefer, then of course you can use that. Open Audacity on your computer desktop and the Word document containing your script and arrange them so that they are side by side on the screen. Before you begin, get comfortable in your seat and do some deep breathing to settle yourself. We carry a lot of tension in our bodies most of the time and this tension can appear in our voices. Speak out loud without recording, be expressive, talk about anything and get those facial muscles warmed up. Once you've got your screen set up, you're settled and relaxed in your seat and your microphone is on and ready, click the record button on Audacity and start recording the narration. On a good day, I can record the narration in one take, but sometimes I stumble over a word, mispronounce a name, or don't put the right inflection on a, on a sentence, just like I did there. So then I just select the mistake in the Audacity screen, press delete, and start recording again at the point where I was still doing fine. That's why you need Audacity and the Word document side by side. Once you've completed the recording, use File, Export in Audacity to export it as an MP3 file. Now let's move on to creating the video using Pictory. Now that you've got your narration ready, it's time to create the video. I'm not going to give you all the instructions for using Pictory here, as it would take too long, but the basic process is this. Once again, there's a link to Pictory below this video, and they give a free trial. Paste the script into Victory using the script to video method. Wait for it to generate the scenes and move into the project. Upload your MP3 narration file and apply that to the entire video. Pictory will sync the narration with your scenes and the script. Go through the video scene by scene and change any video clips using an alternative from the library or the ones you upload. Change the font style to whatever you like for the whole video. Add the background music and reduce the volume to about 10%. When all that is done, preview the video and watch the whole thing, noting anything you want to change. Make the final adjustments and use the download button to generate and download the video. By the way, another great thing about Pictree is that you have the option of changing the video format from landscape to square or to vertical. So you can create reels for Facebook and Instagram and vertical videos for YouTube Shorts and TikTok. Upload the video and optimize it. Now that you have your completed video on your PC or laptop, upload it to your channel. Go through the YouTube upload process and complete each screen. Then let the upload continue while you turn your attention to creating your thumbnail in Canva. Again, this is a step that's worthy of an entire video to describe the whole process. But the main thing to remember is that your thumbnail is vitally important for catching the attention of your target audience. So every thumbnail needs to be created with this in mind. Once you have a thumbnail created and downloaded, and once the video has finished uploading to YouTube, you can complete the upload process by optimizing the video for searches. Both TubeBuddy and vidIQ contain checklists for doing this, so you can work through each step one by one with their guides. After a while, you'll remember what needs to be done without referring to checklists. These checklists prompt you to craft an optimized title and to add appropriate tags. Don't be tempted to stuff in a lot of inappropriate tags. Just use tags that relate to your video script content. Include some of these tags in your description. There's a 5,000 character limit, so there's enough space for a description and some links. The checklists also remind you to add the end screen, cards and chapters and to add the video to a playlist. There is some debate about all these SEO tasks, but in, in my opinion the main things to get right are the video title, the thumbnail, the description area and the tags. With all that done, your video is ready to go live. In time, as your audience builds, your channel analytics will tell you the best time to, of day to publish new videos. 
but for now just publish your video and make it live on YouTube. Give it a like, post a comment and pin that comment to the top. This comment might be a question about the video that encourages the viewers to answer your question and thereby generate interaction, which is all good for scoring a few more points with the YouTube algorithm. Share your video in all your social media channels with a couple of appropriate hashtags. And that's it. I hope you found this introductory guide helpful. If you have any questions, please post them below. Please help my channel by liking and sharing this video and subscribe to my channel remembering to click the bell icon for notifications for more content like this.